is not what I wanted to do. I did not want to take a picture. Welcome to Let's Play Skyrim. <laughs> I'm already messing up. So the tongue's freeze from out a wind's reach. I want to see the FPS counter. Why are you not working? Oh no, I cannot do that. Okay, that's a new age. And if it's a turn, then a turn is done. Where his story is over. Okay, so I'm just testing to see what the mic volume is like while playing the game, yada yada yada. Don't expect much because I probably won't record a lot. Also, uh, if you're wondering why the menu is different, it's because I got uh, menu replacers. I will. If I remember, I'll try to put the link to both the spinning icon and the new song uh, in the description of the video. I'll try to put, I'll just try to put a list of all the mods I have you installed in the description. Did not want to play Moonpath to Elsewhere anyway. Well, actually, I did, but. <sighs> I heard that supposedly the guy, or someone's taking over the game. Originally, they were gonna remake it using new assets and stuff, and try to improve it a little bit. But then they supposedly, the guy who was doing that revamp project, teamed up with the Beyond Skyrim team. Uh, and so it's just going to be part of the Elswire part of Beyond Skyrim. If you don't know what Beyond Skyrim is, look it up on Google sometime and be amazed. It's a gigantic... Basically, they're trying to recreate the entirety of Tamriel. And so, like, you, you know, you play Skyrim and then you, like, go to your map. And you're like, hmm, today I want to go to, oh, I don't know, Cyrodiil. And then you just walk up this little path and go whoop, and now you're in Cyrodiil. So, it's very foggy over there for some reason. That's actually kind of weird. Hold on a sec. <clears throat> I'm assuming the red light means recording. That would be hilarious if it did not. <laughs> because then you wouldn't be able to have heard anything I said. Hmm. 
I need to put like a sticky note on this thing telling me that. Cause I can never remember. <sighs> okay, meet with whoever took the horn, that's all the way in there. Turn to Fergus. Let's run it to our home. game. How about you mark that on my map? Hey game, how about you cooperate? No, I'm not joining fucking... Oh, have I fucked up my game? That would be hilarious. Okay, so I just realized probably removing Mooncast to Elsewhere in the middle of the save probably wasn't a good idea. Uh. Alright, what save is this? 68. So keep number 68 safe because I might have fucked up my game. That would be kind of bad. Oh, there it is. Thank God. Alright, where is that at? Ooh, there's a little place over there. I gotta go over there. But I gotta go. But there's a thing there. <sighs> I'm going to the thing out of here. Fuck you. What was that noise? That thing squeak at me. What a lovely day. Yeah, that would be very weird if I remember the squeak of the wailing banshee, really? You don't have the shout fully unlocked? Wait, there's a wailing banshee shout? Okay, I'm assuming that's out of my mod. <laughs> that sounds very odd. Eh, yeah, where am I? Nope. Nope. Still nope. Alright, I'm there, so I need to turn to the left. But there's a king. I saw a king over there. Go to clear, clear Pine Pond, kill Bucks' face, take Serana home, and then shoot that moose in the ass. <sighs> Fuck. Jesus Christ, you're like fucking Usain Bolt. <laughs> I got all excited. I was like, yes, I hit it. It was a fucking slaughterfish. Like, really? <laughs> How does that even work? Oh, hi, you came back. <laughs> Take two middle fingers and die. Don't know why I did that. That was a waste of gold. Ah, ow! Who is pulling my brain? I wish they would stop it. Ah. 
Yes, Ron, I quit pulling in his brain. <laughs> she has no idea what's going on. <laughs> She's just like, you're both being strange. <laughs> so much nicer with grass. <laughs> and anyone who hasn't played the original Skyrim recently will have no idea what I'm talking about. Hi. Wait, seriously? Seriously. That fo- I'm in co I'm having combat because of that fo No, probably because of the troll. Also, uh... Jazargo, or Inigo, rather, is like, overpowered and... I'm debating whether or not to take it. Did that bolt just bounce off? Just so slightly loud. Mm. It's just like when it when it's kind of soft like it is right this second. It's kind of nice, but when it gets like really loud, it's just like okay, can't hear anything. It's happening now. how Skarm is simultaneously really small and really enormous all at the same time. Like... <coughs> There's my horse! Come here, you! literally get scared the shit out of me when she rode up on that horse. I'm not even gonna lie. I thought it was like some weird demonic animal coming to murder me. Hmm. So, I have a mod that makes it so you can make potions. Ooh. Uh, you can take like smaller potions and make them into stronger versions. I, I kind of want to contact that mod author who made that mod and ask him if he could make a reverse version, where you, where you could take stronger potions and make them into weaker ones. Because, like right about now, because I accidentally made all my potions. Like instantly refill all health, and I'm only like level like twenty something. 
And kill cam fail. I'm sorry. I'm sorry again. Apparently that mud crab just went to a book. Ah, not again. Stay where you are, brain. Stay where you are. Ow. Oh. I get it. Your brain's leaking out your nose. I'll take care of you in a bit. <laughs> Honestly, don't know why I'm taking those. Uh, like any uh, alchemy ingredients, because I don't really do alchemy that much. But. This mod makes it so I can just walk up to stuff on a horse and pick it instantly. So I'm just like, yay! <laughs> I can loot more efficiently. <laughs> and I've become a little bit obsessed. Also, I am now... Yep, this seems normal. Oh, well, I have a helmet of water breathing, so whatever. <laughs> I'm just gonna work with it. <laughs> But while riding on horseback, he defies the laws of physics. Hi, how you doing? Also, while I'm here, I'm gonna go ahead and get some blood. I feel like I'm on the wrong side of this chopping block, but okay. I guess technically if we're using real life as a comparison, there is no such thing as the wrong side of a chopping block, but... Did Serona just teleport out of existence? Or... Am I just insane? Okay, no. I swear to God, if either of you say something, I will kill you. <coughs> Serana, I swear to God, don't fucking say anything. I will foo throw dog you so hard. I was just about to say, oh, did they fix it so the sawmills actually now make multiple logs? But apparently not. It just disappeared out of existence. Uh, how many, how did I do already? 12? Let's get 24 wood logs. I need this for making steel bolts. Hmm. And I guess since we're by solitude, maybe I should stop and grab some crafting feathers as well. I kind of like, I think it's Ars Metallica that adds that feature, where you can craft- oh wait, actually? Yeah, I guess it would be Ars Metallica. But anyway, one of the mods I have makes it so in order you can craft arrows and bolts of all types, but you have to have crafting feathers, which makes sense because you do need feathers to make arrows in real life, but it's super fucking annoying because those don't exist in the vanilla game. So they're not really added to the loot lists anywhere. So the only place to get them is to go buy them from merchants. And they only ever have like 10 or 12 at a time. So it's like you, you have to do the fucking sit and wait in a bench for like a year in order to get enough fucking feathers. <sighs> and it's super annoying. Why do I have a door the bowl? Get out of my inventory. I honestly don't need 90% of the stuff I have. Oop, stealing it. Why do I have 14 torches? Uh. 
I'm gonna end up collecting all the gems before I get even get to the Thieves Guild. That would be funny. Also, I'm really hoping my microphone is recording. I, I'm just so bad about doing shit. I'll probably cry if when I end this recording, <laughs> the fucking audio didn't go in. I was just like, well, that was an hour and a half of my life wasted. Literally the only reason I have this is because I think it's unique. And that's worth something. How do I have a dwindle bowl? <laughs> Would that actually work? No. I read stories about the Solitude Ring, though, and I didn't expect it to be that big. Oh, windmill, not water wheel. I was like, what? Every time Indigo speaks, I think I'm gonna get attacked. I don't even know why. I'm so used to companions in Skyrim being mutes. Oh, that's the wrong way. I keep thinking about enabling like I think it's called Frostfall or one of those other the other survival needs mods. I think I think they're kinda cool, like the whole need to eat and drink and stay out of the rain and blah 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 to survive. But at the same time I feel like it's just it's too, it adds too much tedium to Skyrim. Because there's like already a lot of that that you have to do when you like collect materials and then collect materials. <laughs> And then manage your inventory and all that crap. It's like there's already way too much done in Skyrim. I feel like if if a game ever if a game comes with features like that built in, like no fast travel or you need to eat or drink or whatever, like if they're built in part of the vanilla game, I'm okay with them. But it's just like I I don't ever really add them intentionally myself. I do think they're cool though. And for someone who doesn't mind mind the added tedium and stuff that goes with them, they're just it's, it's just too much for me. Okay, now there's a Fletcher, I think, up here. Hi. 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 Hello. Hello. Yep, there we go. Okay, so probably in there, unless the is here. Yes, he is. Let's turn this Wanderer, seems there's no end to the needs of the Imperials. The finest weapons and armor. Let's see if he has any crafting feather. Yeah, see, he only has like 20 of them. They're actually kind of expensive. Oh, and they weigh too? That's actually kind of annoying. No wonder. I get overburdened. Yeah, that's another one of the, the things about Skyrim. It's just like... You might only be carrying like one or two weapons plus the armor you're wearing. But it's like just the combined weight of all the little bitty miscellaneous items you're carrying. It's like you end up being like 500 pounds overweight. <laughs> the adventures of Backpack Man and his sidekick, <laughs> Backpack Boy. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Literally, no 
one will get that reference. <laughs> uh, of avoidance, really? That's a thing? Sure. And I'm over uncovered. Sure, I'll take that. I'll take that. I'll take that too. Return, eh? I just used up all my gold and time you need arms or armor. My four never rest. <laughs> oh hey! The spell actually works now. Oh wait, cause doesn't it okay, I think I know why. It's cause where's the alteration? Do, 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 do. Long stride. And tw plus 25 carry weight. Tripled when out of combat. So. 75 pounds of carry weight. I'm. Okay, yeah, so that's why. I wanna get a stronger version of this that's like 100 pounds extra carry weight. And then that's tripled out of combat. Actually, I thought see, this spell did not. do that. Maybe the patch did such a just be able to see solitude over the mountains. That's exactly what I'd imagined. Hello and welcome, my friend. How may I help you on this fine day? True, I may look the part of dashing swordsman, but I prefer the art. Why, of course. And will you also be needing the bow that shoots rainbows? Or perhaps a quiver that dispenses beer. Uh, Look, if you want arrows, we have can, them. Please. But don't insult my intelligence. Gotta be honest, dude. I could literally get both of those things from the Fallout Nexus. And by Fallout, I mean Skyrim Nexus. We are in the yeah, would not be surprised Skyrim. at all if there's a mod that makes bow and arrow bows shoot rainbows. And you shoot beer. If that doesn't exist, somebody please make that. <laughs> An archer, huh? I've got just what you need. Must we arm ourselves here? I do not want to frighten the locals. sounding. Oh, it's an arrow, though. I don't use arrows. Bolts, iron, iron, bone, steel, oh, steel, bone. Mm-hmm. Show me there. Whoa! Okay, hi, how are you? That's, uh, That's a extremely good bow. Not gonna lie. Wow, that's like basically for any enemy you would encounter in the entire game, short of like a dragon or a giant. Just completely negates their armor. Not gonna take it though, because I don't use bows. I don't know, some of these crossbows that were added by this mod I downloaded, they're kind of gunky looking. It's like some of them are really cool, and some of them are just like, ugh. Because they're like, fucking, they're just made out of parts that are already in the game. Which I guess is kind of cool, but it's just like... <sighs> I prefer when people make new stuff. Getting progressively poor.
So like this, this one looks cool. This looks like something like th that the developers made or something. And then there are some like, where is it? This one. And it's just like, ugh. Like, that just, I don't know, that just looks gross. Because it's, it's literally what they did is they, they took the mesh for a bow, a shield, and a glass axe, and just slapped them together. And it's, it just looks awful. I'm sorry, Mod Author, but it really does. <laughs> But then it's like you get you get ones like this, and this one looks like an actual crossbow. It's like just subtle hints of a different armor style. But it's just like it's different enough, or not different enough, but... Subtle enough that you can't blatantly tell. It's like, oh, this is made out of something already in the game. Or this one. Yeah, I'm, I'm almost tempted just to go into the files of that mod that these are added with and just delete those from it. Or like this one. This one's cool. Even though this one is technically just a retexture of the uh, regular steel bow added by the Dawnguard DLC, it's still cool looking. Or this one even. This one looks kind of cool. It's very purple, though. <laughs> Steel bolt. Bye. You're a Fletcher, and you don't sell crafting arrows, really? Uh, feathers, whatever? You suck. Perhaps I'll be seeing more of you. No, you won't. Don't worry, you won't be seeing any more of me. Oh, that's actually kind of cool. The uh, weapons and stuff were added to the display cases. Because that's a mod. This one's a mod. Let me give you some room. actually a very good point. I'm in town. I should sell some shit. Uh, where's the door? Gotta go fast, gotta go fast, gotta go fast. What animation is my character doing right now? <coughs> I've been looking for you. Got something I'm supposed to deliver. Your hands only. Let's see here. A note from someone named Calselmo in Markov. No. Looks like that's it. Got to go. I swear to God. I didn't buy anything that was dwarven, though. Oh, it's because... Uh... I fucking hate this quest. I just do. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. If I don't read it, does that mean I don't get the quest? Oh, well, in that case, fuck you, Casamo. You. What you're doing that for? Look at you, sir. Right? It didn't give me that, right? Please tell me it didn't give me that fucking quest. Yay! Okay, so basically what that is, is if you 
buy or make anything dwarven or find something that's dwarven. You'll get a note from him when he's like, Hey, can you bring me that very specific item that you found, bought, or made? And if you don't bring him literally that 100% identical item, the quest never leaves your fucking quest log. It's just, it's just like, oh great, I'm glad this is the thing. Oh yeah. This. Hmm. Can I dual cast it if I got a perk? Hmm. I'm almost tempted just for that spell. never use alteration for anything. As if Skyrim didn't have enough outsiders. Now we've got mercenaries from Hammerfell strutting about. Divine's blessing. May the ground you walk quake See, like, pass. So I downloaded a mod that adds new combat, or not combat, but new animations. It's like when I pull out a sword. A coin or two for a veteran? It's not much or to whatever. ask. Um. Hey now, you be careful with that Which fire. is really cool, but the, uh, ah! spells? Ah! Oh, here, I'll just put it back on. Cause you do that stupid fucking. Just an old man. Let me poop squat my way over to wherever I'm going. Here beneath. It ruins it. Something for just about everybody in here. Give a holler if you have any questions. Trinkets, odds and ends, that sort of thing. No, 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 no. Offload this shit first. Oh. Is there a. There's gotta be a. Come back to bits and pieces anytime. Yes? I want a uh, enchanting station, but I don't remember where those are. Some pieces, we get ornaments, we can skeever. Castle Dower, Castle Dower, Fetcher, Soul 2. Where's that? Emperor's Tower. I'm curious. Found in catacombs, y'all. I bet. And of our holiday, Prop Spire. 
I mean, I could literally spend a thousand gold and buy a house to get an enchanter. Maybe Castle Dower has one. Probably I'm a little one. busy at I've got all sorts of errands. Keep those spells under control. Okay. I've noticed something. For some reason, Skyrim capitalizes okay. It's just like all caps. Okay. Ignore that. You don't see anything. <laughs> nope, totally no gi no ginormous oblivion gate in the middle of solitude. Nope. Please, for the love of God, tell me there's an inch. Oh, there's an alchemy stick. <gasps> yes. I'm Thank you. Ulfric is planning an attack on White Run. He'd be insane to try. He doesn't have them. Yes. That's not what my scouts need. Uh, yes. Sir. Every day. Yes. Join his cause. Yes. Yes. To hold support him. Yes. And it's not a cause. Him. It's a rebellion. Yes. Sure, it's fucking heavy. Call it whatever you like, General. The man's going to try to take you. Stand outside the protection of the Empire and fight. Let Ulfric pillage a city. General. You people and your damn girls. Sir, you can't force a Nord to accept help he hasn't asked for. If Ulfric's making a move for Whiterun, then we need to be there to stop him. Draft another letter with the usual platitudes, but this time share some of your intelligence regarding Ulfric's plans. Embellish if you have to. We'll let it seem like it's his idea. Yes, sir. You Nords and your bloody sense of honor. Sir. Seems looking to protect yourself or deal some damage. None of the above. Cyrodiilic mm. glass bow cell. 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 Wait, I have both of these already? Really? I don't think that's true. Surely I can make this shit, right? Return anytime you need arms or armor. My forge never rests. Nope. Uh, leather. 
Armor. Wanderer like you must have plenty of tales to tell. But I'm afraid I'm too busy to hear of <coughs> I got some fun. Take a look. Really? Keep safe and always wear your armor. to try. He doesn't have the men. That's not what my scouts report, sir. Every day more join his cause. Riften, Dawnstar, and Winterhold support him. It's not a cause. It's a rebellion. Call it whatever you seriously by have. A man's going to try to take White Run. Jarl Balgruf. Balgruf refuses the Legion's right to garrison troops in his city. On the hmm. other hand, he also refuses to acknowledge Ulfric's claim. Look at that. Well, if he wants to stand outside the protection of the Empire, fine. Let Ulfric pillage his city. General! You people in your damn jars. Sir, you can't force a Nord to accept help he hasn't asked. Anything to suit your needs. He has tons of armor. Anytime you need arms or armor, my forge never rests. Being old's not so bad. Daughter keeps me fed.
<sighs> I keep forgetting I haven't Sworn there was a Khajiit camp here somewhere. Whatever. I'm just screwing around. I'm gonna go. I'll probably cut all that. And the journey to wherever we're going. So if I do, I'll be back. You were just down there. How are you here? Maik wishes you well. What? There are two of you. Liar, liar, you should retire. Your lies are getting old. You supplier. <laughs>
I necessarily think the texture quality in Skyrim is bad. It's just like, like, look at this room right here. Aside from the furniture, everything looks the same in this room. Like, there's a very, like, it, like going from dirt to wood to rock to ceiling. Uh, it's almost the same texture. It just all looks like dirt texture. Okay with the dark, but I've spent more than my share of time in caves already. It's, it's actually kind of funny when it comes to textures in Skyrim. It's very easy to tell if something is is vanilla, like made by Bethesda or if it's added by a mod, because the mod stuff is like so like different in terms of texture and texture quality. Here's an example. Here's Dawnbreaker. Right? Excuse me. And then here is. If I can find it on my list. This is a modded sword. If I can get it to a point where. Yeah. Like, I mean, look at this. Uh. 
I will lead like, you, you go if stand can. over there by her. Okay, I will wait like, here. Vanilla, modded. Vanilla, modded. Vanilla, modded. <laughs> Or if, if I if I stand here, it's just like vanilla made with vanilla assets, and then what I'm wearing is completely 100% brand new. <laughs> it's one of the things I, I really like about Fallout 4. It's with Fallout 4, but the, the, it felt like they actually went, like, made some sort of an effort to actually differentiate stuff and make things stand out more. In this game, everything just blends into each other. Also, you can follow me. Yes, my friend, I'm right behind you. my horsey climb this vertical cliff defy the laws of physics yes now kill yourself on the other side yes <laughs> I'm not singing the right song. <laughs> I don't give a shit. <laughs> I'm gonna sing whatever song that I choose. <laughs> I mean, this is slightly better, but my horse is drowning itself. Here that looks fine. You get up here and you're just like, it's 
It's so bright out here. Yep, that's 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 it. a green texture right there. That, that's very green. Like, look how green this is. <laughs> that, that's all I can say about the texture. It's very green. God, I'm gonna be so disappointed if this audio is not recording. Because I'm actually talking for once. And not hating it. Um. Hi. What? God damn it. Don't you fucking dare attack me, I swear to God. Okay. I'm just gonna. I'm no fan of the sun. Fucking smoke monster. <laughs> yeah, I have a mod that adds a bunch of dogs to Skyrim. And you can recruit them as companions, which is fine. But because I have advanced follower tweaks, I think that's what that mod's called, it breaks their AI. So, like, once you recruit them, like, well, actually, there's a bug with vanilla Skyrim where if you talk to hey, dogs. So before we go in there. Damn it, Serana. I think so. And thanks for asking. I wanted to thank you for getting me this far. But after we get in there, I'm going to go my own way for a while. I think. I know your friends would probably want to kill everything in here. I'm hoping you can show some more control than that. Once we're inside, just keep quiet for a bit. Let me take the lead. Wanting to walk away from conversation like in Fallout 4 cannot do. Yeah, that's actually that's actually something. A lot of people diss Fallout 4. They're like, ooh, the, the dialogue system in Fallout 4 is shit. Indoors, or in a cave. Shush. Anyway, just out of this. The dialogue system is awful. The writing was awful. The quests were awful. They removed all the RPG elements. Me, 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 me. It's just like, okay, the story. I will agree, the story was kind of lacking in choice. But. Something that people need to take into consideration. Neither the voice acting or, or, or let me put it this way. A lot of people say one of the reasons that there was the four dialogue option in, in Fault 4 was because of the, the voice acting. It was not. You can have a game with multiple choices, like 12 plus choices, and still have a voice actor reading off those lines. That wasn't the problem. The problem was the writing. They didn't write in multiple different because because what you have to do is when you make multiple choices, you then have to like you know say say if someone walks up to me and say can you go kill this this dragon for instance and you can say yes or no, and if you say yes then that branches off into another set of things you can say or do, or if you say no it branches off into more things. So it's like the more dialogue options you have, the more branching uh, options and branch off branching off paths you have. And it becomes a lot more complicated to keep everything straight. So what happened with Fallout 4 was they just, they were wanting to tell a very specific story. And they added in just enough choices to where it, to, 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 they were trying to give the illusion of choice, but really they wanted to tell a very specific story with Fallout 4 and they didn't really want you to choose a different ending. They wanted that. That was basically the main problem with Fallout 4. Is they they wanted they wanted to tell a very specific story, and then they gave you just enough options to make it seem like you could have your own choice. But really, they just wanted to tell this very specific story. So so the problem with Fallout 4 is just the writing. It wasn't the voice acting. They could have added, and Bethesda has more than enough money to pay the voice actor for millions more lines. They just didn't want to take the time to write in different options. And then keep, you know keep track of all the different branching paths because that is a very complicated thing to do. And then another thing is, uh, 
a lot of people complain about the, the four choice option in and of itself, the way it was presented where you press A, B, X, or Y to say, oh, it's, it's for console. Actually, something I was thinking about when I was playing Fallout 4 the other day was probably the reason why they had the, the, the four button option. It probably actually wasn't due to the amount of dialogue choices. It was probably actually a technical limitation because in Fallout 4 they added the, uh, the quick looting system. And I'm not sure about this because I'm, I'm not a programmer myself, but I think what happened was they ran into an issue where they couldn't have the quick loot option and have dialogue at the same time using the uh, D-pad uh, on controller. I, th I think they ran into it uh, like a scripting or a, uh, yeah, a scripting problem where they couldn't have both be mapped to the D-pad, so they're forced to use the four button option. And then I also think, uh, I think that actually also attributed, that attributed it as well to the lack of dialogue options. If, if that is true that they had, they, because of scripting and, and technical issues, they had to limit it to the four buttons, then, you know, that would also attribute to the, the lack of dialogue options as well. Um, but yeah. Um. I, I, like I said, I don't know if that's true. I have a feeling it is, though, because I've talked to a couple other moth authors, or heard a lot of moth authors talk about uh, stuff like that. Like, for instance, I think it was the mod author. Someone, someone made a quick loop. Actually, I'm going to stop talking because I don't remember exactly what was said, but... Just from what I know about the way the, the game engine that Bethesda uses works... Uh, it was probably one of those situations where they just couldn't figure out how to get it to work. Now, that's not to say, I, th I think if given enough time, they probably could figure out a way to have both the quick looting and dialogue both mapped to D-pad. Uh, but I, I, th I think it, it, it was like a combination of the, the adding the quick loot feature, the hotkeys feature, uh, trying to do dialogue, and also trying to do the where you can walk away from conversations. I think all those four things together made it really difficult to map everything correctly. So the, I, I think that's a big reason why Skyrim or Fallout 4's dialogue was the way it was. Um, so yeah. But yeah, d definitely I, I really think people need to stop dissing the game because it's like, oh, it, it was bad because of the voice acting. It was not. The voice acting had nothing to do with it. And if Bethesda ever was to make another game, I really do want them to have a voice protagonist again. I enjoyed that. Fallout 4 was a much more enjoyable game than many other games I've uh, Bethesda games I've played. It has a lot more emotional depth, and you if it's a lot easier to connect with characters. I felt. Also, just just real quick. I want, I, want, I want people to take in, into consideration, people say, oh, the dialogue in Fault 4 was bad. Have you played Skyrim? Like, 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 here, here, let's, let's do this whole thing where you talk to Serana's father. And I'll, I'll give you an example of why, why people are being stunned, like, dumb when it comes to that. I watched the gate. Ain't much else to tell. The way I heard, Lady Serana's been gone a really long time. So j just to say, in Vault 4, there were four options. Look how many options I get in all of the trick characters. Wait, Serana? Is that truly you? I cannot believe my eyes. She's not in here. My lord, everyone! Serana has returned! Oh, fuck. Go, 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 go. Oh, fuck. I know what's happening. I broke Saran. I guess I'm expected. I can't believe it. Thank God. I was thinking AFT broke her AI. 
My long lost daughter returns at last. I trust you have my Elder Scroll. After all these years, that's the first thing you ask me? Yes, I have the scroll. Of course, I'm has delighted to see you, my daughter. Must I really say the words aloud? Ah, if only your traitor mother were here. I would let her watch this reunion before putting her head on a spike. Now tell me, who is this stranger you have brought into our hall? This is my savior, the one who freed me. For my daughter's safe return, you have my gratitude. Tell me, what is your name? Oh, look at that! Only two dialogue options. Oh, look at that! Wow, this game has really poor dialogue options. I am Harkon, Lord of this court. By now, my daughter would have told you what we are. Oh, look, only three. Not just vampires. We are among the oldest and most powerful vampires in Skyrim. For centuries we lived here, far from the cares of the world. Hmm. All that ended when my wife betrayed me and stole away that which I valued most. You have done me a great service, and now you must be rewarded. There is but one gift I can give that is equal in value to the Elder Scroll and my daughter. I offer you my blood. Take it and you will walk as a lion among sheep. Men will tremble at your approach and you will never fear death again. Then you will be prey, like all mortals. I will spare your life this once, but you will be banished from this hall. Perhaps you still need convincing me. Behold the power! Now, make your choice. So be it. You are prey. No, 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 I ran all the way through up into the one of the back rooms and then I went into sneak and none of the AI could find me and I became trapped in there and any it became to the point where anytime I uh, one of the NPCs noticed me they instantly went hostile and attacked me and killed me and since all of them are tried to kill me and since all of them are set to immortal at this point in the quest I, they just kept murdering me and I couldn't leave <laughs> Hello. I suppose we should go to the sleeping giant and find out who has taken the horn. Uh, they are a real time waster, whoever they are. I'm wondering if you like this snow as much as I do. I usually prefer more educated surroundings. This is no bard's college, my friend. That place helps me focus my talent for some reason. But, uh, I suppose I could try to think of something. Let me think. Um... Okay, here we go. I, myself, and me... Joined to sing a song. We opened our mouth and released some words. I wondered if we would be standing here long. We did not move or go anywhere. Just standing around is hard to bear. What are you thinking? What is on your mind? I've heard certain thoughts can make you go blind. This is nice, I do declare. I love being out in the open air. We are a team you cannot ignore. We are hard to kill, but easy to adore. The snow is nice, but what is it for? Music is in me, in every hair and every pore. Being with you is sometimes surreal, but being your friend is a really good deal. 
My mind is not fast, but I have killer aim. I will defend you, fit or lame. Relaxing is good, it is true, but I would rather be out adventuring with you. Thank you very much for setting me free. Of course, I mean metaphorically. We are both champions, tough and brave. If you fight us, you are digging your own grave. You are standing close, you smell fit and well. Health is a thing you cannot buy or sell. There is more snow in the air than words between my ears. This song must soon end, please hold back your tears. It is time to finish this tune I found. I wish my words would stick around. That is that my mind is drained. But I hope that you were entertained. The end. This Speak mod is me. amazing. Um. What's next? But anyway, yeah, any goes a mod. A very awesome mod. But uh, anyway, so back to back to my earlier point. So, as you saw in there, we never got more than three dialogue options at a time. Whereas we're, I mean, yeah. So it's like people saying that, oh, Fallout 4 had really bad dialogue options and hardly any, and oh, it was so bad. It's just like, Skyrim wasn't any better. Very rarely did you get more than four dialogue options in Skyrim. And usually then only with very specific quest-oriented, like, characters that were part of a quest. Or companions. So, and and most of the time, most of the optional dialogues you get, they're just repeats, like, different wordings of something you could say. A slightly ver slight variation of another dialogue option. So it's just like, I don't see the point people are making. It's just like, if we were saying compared to other RPGs, like, I don't know, The Witcher, fucking Mass Effect other RPGs, then okay, sure. There are less dialogue options, and there's less variety, and there's less opportunities for role-playing. But as far as Bethesda games go, Fallout 4 was pretty standard in terms of the dialogue options. So, yeah. Um, and now that I'm thinking about it, I'm going to pause this recording real quick. And check to make sure that the mic was actually recording during this entire time. And also go check up on a couple mods, because I think some of my mods are not working properly. Um, yeah. I'll be back. Oi! He says not closing the game down yet. 